Hey guys, uh, Johnny here. I wanted to do uh, an unboxing and possibly a review of the, uh, the King Tech uh, headlight assembly that uh, they're making for a lot of the sport bikes. Uh, King Tech also, uh, you may recognize the logo, uh, goes by KT, KT Motorsports, KT Motorcycles. Uh, they appear to be out of China. Um, their website recently went through a nice revamp. It looks really good. Um, so I decided to give them a try, even though I didn't see anybody else actually using them uh, because uh, all the research I was showing looked pretty good and legit. So uh, we're going to see what happens. I did buy it off of eBay uh, intentionally to get the uh, buyer protection on that. So if these are terrible, uh, I'll still be okay. Um, it did come wrapped in plastic wrap, which I do see a lot of things coming out of China uh, with that on it. And right off the bat, this side of the box is wet, um, which is really weird for something that came wrapped completely in plastic wrap. So that's disconcerting right off the bat. But let's open it up. This seems sturdily packed, I think. Let's see what's actually going on here. Um, a lot of open space, but they don't, they do seem to kind of jiggle a little bit, but they don't bounce around too much of padding around them. Let's keep cutting this open. Deal. They're not cracked, as far as I can tell. Let's keep looking. Totally sealed in this bag, so I have to cut it open. Uh, more plastic across the lenses to prevent scratching, I assume, so that's nice. Um, looks really good. Uh, very clear lenses. They, I'm, I'm not sure if this is actually a Honda OEM headlight assembly, uh, or if it's aftermarket. I don't see any indications either way. of that quality is I would say on par with the OEM assembly um, thickness of plastic the texture is very similar so it might very well be OEM uh, given the cost of the pre-assembled unit I suspect that's what's going on they're just buying up OEM ones and retrofitting the components inside and we can see where they've resealed it. This is looks like just standard rubber gasket uh, stuff here. Um, so it seems like they have re-weather sealed it. So that's good. Um, 
sign that they care a little bit of quality. These tabs that poked out definitely seem to be intact, no cracks. Um, front looks really good. I'll take the plastic off here. Um, that looks really nice um, with the HID projector in there. Um, these, uh, I did get the chromed out interior, so you can catch the chrome in there. It's not too reflective. Uh, when they say chromed interior versus blacked out interior, all they're actually talking about is uh, this piece that goes uh, behind the HID projector lens. Uh, the rest of the inside of the housing is still black as per OEM. Uh, if you can see that there. Um, lenses look really nice. Um, overall, um, definitely happy with the quality and the look of this, so that's great. Here, let's take a look at the accessory box that I pulled out earlier. Um, so we've got user manual and a roll of electrical tape, zip ties. That's really cool. They throw in the electrical tape and zip ties for you. Um, I'll just open this up. So, user manual. Tons of zip ties. Zip ties, zip ties. Electrical tape. Um, these are uh, mounting brackets for the uh, HID ballasts. Um, screws kind of falling out of there. Um, let's see. This is a replacement switch. I believe this is going to replace the high beam switch. Or probably not replace it, probably go alongside of it on, uh, on your, uh, next to your grips. So it's just all your cables. Here are the two. Um, two HID ballasts. Um, relatively small. So that's nice. Those should be easy to hide, but we'll find out. Hey, look at that, a whole, wow, whole toolkit, I don't know, screwdriver, a um, bunch of metric hex or Allen wrenches. Uh, that's cool, definitely small enough to fit inside of the uh, rear seat hatch. You don't have a toolkit in there. Um, interesting, they sent that. It's kind of a weird throw in. And then, uh, finally, uh, okay. So, this. Oh, I guess that's all set. So, uh, massive wiring harness. Oh yeah, there's your LED driver. Um, so this is where all of your stuff, your high beams, your low beams, your turn signals, your everything is going to plug into. Here's where the ballasts connect. Um, another switch. Low beam on off switch. So that is interesting. Um, I like that because I thought I was going to have to add in my own switches for various things. Uh, I guess not. It still makes me wonder what this switch was for. Uh, of course, I'm going to have to go through all the instructions and see where everything goes. Some of this is not immediately recognizable. Not a big deal. Um, everything is pretty clearly marked. Chinese on one side, um, English on the other. Yeah, this is, and the English is good and obvious what's going on. So that's fantastic. You can see that there, low beam, high beam. So this is working out great. So, uh, and these are all keyed connectors is good means things are only going to go in uh, one way so 
really hard to screw up. So a lot of this project is just going to be um, getting everything into the bike, hiding all of the wiring, and uh, you may have to punch a couple of holes to mount some of the switches, um, but that is going to be true, uh, and, oh and then hiding the ballasts, that's going to be true with uh, any kind of HID upgrade that you're doing. This is actually a really well put together kit. Uh, the sleeves on the wiring are nice. This is a really well assembled shrink tubing in place and metal crimps. Um, high quality connectors. This is this is a really nice kit. Um, so as far as this goes, um, it looks like it's going to be all right. So far, I'd recommend buying it. We'll see how installation goes. We'll see how it looks. That, of course, going to have to wait until uh, I get it on the bike. But there it is, the uh, KT Motorcycles um, HID Angel Eyes Demon Eyes uh, upgrade kit. for uh, This one's for uh, 2012 through 2014. I think it'll fit the 2015 as well. Uh, Honda CBR 1000 RR. They do make them for other motorcycles. They don't have other motorcycles. Uh, so I have to assume that they're all of similar quality. And when I, once I get this installed or at least lit up, uh, I'll post another video.